Hey there, Suzanne from Suzanne Scarrow Live here. Have you been wanting to find a healthy relationship, whether that's in your current relationship or it's a brand new relationship that you haven't come to yet? What doubts or fears do you have about it? What past history do you have that might be limiting your courage? if that's the right word, in moving forward into that relationship. The, I mean the courage to be vulnerable because if you're going to have a healthy relationship, you do need to be vulnerable, don't you? You can't have your walls up and have a healthy relationship. That just won't work. So that means that you need to identify whatever it is that you have doubts or fears or worries about and then tap and clear those doubts and fears and worries and perhaps limiting beliefs that you might have. If you watched your parents have a not very healthy relationship, then you may have beliefs that you've formed about relationships that are even unconscious to you, but they are there. And like all of us, 95% of your behavior is driven by the unconscious thoughts and beliefs that you have. So it's really important to identify what is there and what's blocking you so that you can move into that healthy relationship. If you've asked for a healthy relationship, it's certainly possible for you. But we tend to sabotage ourselves on the journey, don't we? And so it's really important to identify what is in your past. What, so look at, maybe do an audit on the relationships that you've experienced, including your parents, and think about the positives and the negatives of that, that relationship, those relationships. And just see as you're going through that audit, what still is painful, what still has a sting to it. Those are the things that you would need to clear. And then it's kind of a dance between what you want and what's blocking you. So you, if you can then, once you've cleared what needs to be cleared, move towards visualizing yourself in that ideal relationship, and if there's anything else that needs clearing, it will come up then in the doubts and fears and worries. So you've taken that dance step towards it and now you're going to do a dance step back to clear what needs to be cleared so that you can take another step towards it and then something else will come up and you come back and you clear it and you dance in that way until there is nothing to clear and that's when you'll find that healthy relationship. It is absolutely possible for you. So when I say that, what comes up? What doubts or fears or worries come up for you when I say that? Those are the things that need clearing. So do the audit. I really encourage you to do that, preferably on pen and paper, so that you can actually see it, um, get clear about it, and then identify what needs clearing. Think about if you have any limiting beliefs about relationships. If I say to you that it's completely possible for you to have a healthy relationship, how believable is that for you? And then what's stopping you from believing that 100%? Okay. Always, all of this um, conversation about relationships comes with the rider that, well, from my point of view at least, you might have a different belief, but I believe that relationships are really about your personal growth. So two people come into a relationship and one acts as the mirror to the other, both are acting as mirrors to each other, and it allows you to clear whatever needs to be cleared and grow into a stronger, healthier relationship. Does that make sense to you? So I'd love to hear your comments about it, pop the comments um, below, um, but yeah, I believe completely that you can have a healthy relationship no matter where you are right now. And that may be the relationship you're in now, or it may be a new relationship. Okay, take care. I'll talk to you next week.